Sorry about that. I might have got cut off on the last video. Shouldn't have my uh, smartphone pointed at the sun. Oops. Temperature warning. But anyhow, as I was saying... I was at the range a couple of days ago. I was going to do a review on Gaston Glock, but my Glock 17 never got to get fired. I was getting ready to do a range video. And there's this guy that came on the range. I can already see that he looked like he was going to be a serious pain in the ass. Or if you want to put it short, PETA, P-I-T-A. So use that at your job. If your boss pisses you off, just say, Ooh, PETA, 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 pain in the ass, PETA, as in PETA bread. Well, anyhow, this guy comes on the range claiming that he is a range instructor from another range. And I didn't pay no attention to him, so I just kept shooting. This son of a bitch, you know, because me and my brother-in-law, because I was shooting my Beretta, and I was, I was already shooting, I was halfway through the mag, fire boom 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 this idiot taps me on my shoulder taps me on my shoulder while i'm firing and my instinct was to turn around but then i said nope sat the gun down and i turned around and it's like and i gave him my uh what do you call that what in zeus's butthole look do you want and he just said, well, I've just been noticing that you're that you're shooting wrong. And I'm like looking at him. I go, I'm shooting wrong. I go, please elaborate. Well, I noticed that your shots are going to the left of the paper. I go, I go, hmm, are you in the military? Were you in the military? And he goes like, no. I go, okay, good. Next lane. And he goes like, well, I'm just telling you. I go, well, I'm going to tell you. I go, number one. You already broke the major rule at a range. Number one, you do not disturb somebody who's firing a weapon because not everybody is as disciplined as I am and my brother-in-law. Because not, what's going to happen is if you tap somebody on the shoulder who is not disciplined, that they're going to turn around. Whatever they're firing might come in your direction. And he would go like, well, that hasn't happened yet. I go, well, number one, get out of my damn lane right now. And this guy was so, ugh, I just want, I just wanted to knock him out. Every time I think about it, I didn't even get the fire Gaston and I was making a video and then it's like, ah, forget it. So we just stayed 30 minutes and we just left. And I reported him to a range, one of the actual range supervisors out there. And I told him, how do you guys let an idiot like that come on the range? And they said that they had no idea that he was going to go out there bugging people. I go, well, you got cameras. You guys should have came out there. You should have got him out there because an accident could have happened. And, you know, the thing is, people got to understand when you're on a range, you do not disturb somebody while they're firing a weapon that's dangerous. That is dangerous. And, you know, the thing is, especially a person doing a mag dump. I would hate to see what would happen if you're firing a, a, a fully automatic weapon, you know? But the thing is, it's like, everybody, please, I implore you, if you have something to say to somebody, wait till after they fire and just say the humble words, excuse me, do not touch them while they're firing a weapon. You know, don't do that because that is rude. And that's a good way to get yourself hurt and somebody else hurt. You know, and just like I told that guy, you know, I don't need no damn trainer. My trainer is on YouTube. You can look him up. Frogman405. Look him up. He trained me. And if you're smart enough or if you attempt to grow a brain and you you manure smelling, butt ugly cow pie, shit kicking piece of sh son of a bitch, you know, go go to his channel and he'll, he'll I'm pretty sure he'll show you something. So anyhow, oh God, rant over. But next, uh, well, maybe pretty soon, I'm going to do a review on Gaston Glock at the range. And you're going to get my feelings and if I have any. But the thing is, I'm really looking forward to showing everybody Gaston, introducing Gaston to the YouTube world and my love of Glocks now. So take care, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I'm going to start with 
DIs with the Tray 5-7 and T Electric and Yoki Stirrup. And I mean that. And also, I can't forget her. Subscribe to Red Phoenix. I call her, but call her Fiery Phoenix. She likes that. That's her alter ego. Subscribe to her channel too. She has some bomb content and she fires some good weapons. And by the way, I'm probably going to buy a shotgun pretty soon. So any recommendations? Because top of the list is a Mossberg. I want a shotgun. A shotgun. I want one. I want one. Want one, want one. I want a shotgun. Peace.